Hey guys, Dr. Jess, and I want to talk to you guys about how to prevent allergies in the young population and how you can prevent them and keep them healthy into adulthood. And so a lot of this information is new and a little bit controversial, but let's dive right in. So I alluded to this earlier in one of the earlier videos with the uh, hygiene hypothesis. And just to relate back to that, that means that um, in industrialized first world nations, we have higher incidences of things like allergies, asthma, and eczema. And that's thought to be due to our love of eradicating every microbe we can find with antibiotics or sanitation or whatever else. Um, and what this theory has shown is that we developed alongside colonies of microbes, parasites, bacteria, and viruses for centuries. And some of these are protective. 80% of our immune systems in our gut and these are microbes. So eradicating everything leaves us open for things like an over overactive immune system that attacks things that it randomly shouldn't. Um, another way that this is proven is a recent study that was done back in 2015 in the New England Journal of Medicine. And what they showed was that introducing allergenic foods like peanuts, which can cause anaphylaxis in some children, but introducing them earlier, even as early as four to six months, these kids ended up having an 80% reduction in allergies. So that goes to show you that being exposed to things like microbes and different pathogens and even allergenic foods can help protect us later on because we are recognizing them early while our immune system is developing, can form antibodies and realize that these things aren't foreign because, hey, I've seen you before. While I was developing, it's not a surprise anymore. So really, to prevent things like this from happening to the young, you know, not everything can always be perfect, but do what you can. What, what helps is letting them play in the dirt, letting them play in the soil. And when our soil is stripped, our bodies are stripped because that biodiversity is gone. So biodynamic soil, rich, healthy, organic soil is great for our developing micro community. And then there's breastfeeding guys, which, you know, I know not, not all of us can do it. We all don't have that luxury, but if you can, please make that choice for your child. The reason I say that is because studies are indicating that the mother passes IgA antibodies onto the baby through the breast milk, which help protect the baby, especially from upper respiratory infections for months, as long as the breastfeeding continues. Um, and last but not least, natural vaginal births have been shown to be somewhat superior to C-sections in studies, um, and that is because cause the baby passes through billions of um, microbiota and different flora as it passes through the vaginal canal. Um, there has been not been shown to be a link with eczema there. However, these children who are born with C-section do have higher rates of environmental and food allergies. Um, and that's just the studies. So of course, everything can't be perfect and you can still protect your child in so many other ways as mentioned in this video. If you like what you hear and you wanna learn more because knowledge is power, guys, Give me a follow. Thanks for watching.